Do you use Zoom for teaching? Would you like to use more than one screen during your presentation without having to share separate screens each time? I'm going to show you how to use a program called OBS and my little setup here. And let me show you what I can do. So I have the camera hooked up here with using an old Galaxy Note 4. I have um, another camera set up looking at my white pad here that I can write on with a pencil or paper, obviously. Um, I've got another camera here that gives me a little bit more of a wider view of my board here. I really like writing out things on a whiteboard. Um, I've got another input here, which is a picture of my iPad screen. So if I wanted to use a, an iPad pen or pe Apple Pencil on my iPad or another tablet, I can do it like that. For Back to my paper view here, I've got another view here where I have two, both cameras on at the same time. One kind of close up and the other one up in the corner showing the whole sheet of paper and how it's laid out. And I can switch those views to get more of a laid out paper uh, view, but also have a close up view over there in the corner. Um, I've got this possibility, which is a slideshow, just like PowerPoint. Uh, you can do a PowerPoint in this window, but I have slides loaded into this slide setup here showing um, different photographs of something that I'm trying to display and trying to uh, demonstrate. Um, I've got a YouTube browser window. I just press these buttons and these windows show up. And if I go down here to the YouTube browser, I just press play, and there it we is, it's playing. And this is all broadcasting foot, out inches. through Zoom to my audience. We see that we um, and they don't see all this background stuff that you're seeing on my screen. We have. I'm gonna press pause. There we go, and I can switch to another browser window. Here's another browser window that I um, am using and I have it focused on. So let's see, these are some other videos that I have on YouTube. I have a website that I can look at. I can go to this website, I can check out different pages on the website, and all of it can be shared on my screen. Now actually I'm not sharing my screen itself. Uh, this is simply my feed of my picture that I'm feeding out to my audience. Uh, so all this can be done with this program called OBS. And that's here on this page here. I'm gonna use these buttons here to make my changes. Um, that's me with the logo video coming down now. Uh, this is um, just me by myself. I can put any background here I want. Uh, this is a Panasonic camera. It's an old uh, video camera I bought when my second kid was bored. And I'm using it now for this paper. And the beauty about doing this is that I can zoom in if I want to get more detail or zoom out. So I have it about here. Next to this camera, I've got an extreme camera. It's a GoPro knockoff, um, perfectly good, a bit cheaper, and I happen to have it here at home. So this is from that, uh, that camera here, which is right here. I'm pointing to it from another camera that I'm recording from over here. So that's the GoPro light camera. This is the Panasonic home video camera. This is the Galaxy Note 4 that's on top of a tripod with a monopod. Um, this is the microphone I'm using that I'm talking to you through OBS. Uh, this microphone here is recording the screen capture from a computer that's sitting over here. Now I have Zoom running so that I'm sending from this computer here that's uh, right in front of me. And here is the Zoom meeting window. So I'm sending out this window down here that's on the bottom, and I'm receiving this one back from the top. I have two Zoom accounts running right now. The bottom one is my current computer here, and the top window is what I'm getting fed back through Zoom from my second computer that's sitting over here to the side. Uh, clicking through these buttons again, I have the extreme a little bit further away. Um, I've got these, this two, this close-up thing here where I have the Panasonic here in this window. Uh, I'm sorry, they're both lighting up, aren't they? So I have the Panasonic, the larger one in the blue square, and then the uh, extreme is up here in the upper left corner. And if I switch the other one with a wider shot, it just si simply switches the two cameras. Uh, here's the slideshow with all these pictures. And the slides are loaded here on this page. And I did the slides like so. I right click here and go to properties. And these are all the files that are part of the slide. So I can bring in any picture I want from my hard drive and show them 
and that's how they'll show up there. So I just have to go into here and I'm going to press a button on my iPad to go to the next slide. So these are slide advancement buttons. And I'm doing this from the iPad through a program called Touch Portal, uh, which is very similar to Stream Deck, uh, which is a thing that has real buttons, but this is a software solution. So Touch Portal, and let me switch to that camera, uh, to the you know, iPad scene. Here's what Touch Portal looks like. And if I press one of these buttons, it's going to go away because it's automatically in there. But you know, let me go to a different screen. So I can be uh, clicking on different buttons here, and they'll do different things. Okay? But I have this program to this one. So the next time I press on Slideshow Next, it's going to change the slideshow. But I'm not looking at the slideshow itself. So I'll go to the slideshow. Next. Next. Next, I can go to a restart slideshow, and then next, and next, and next. Okay, so that's how that's done. That is using OBS with uh, Touch Portal and into Zoom, feeding over into an external source, and that is my that's wow. that's today. talk about an awkward ending. So the next video is going to be on how to install OBS. Uh, go ahead and click on the link up here. Also, please like and subscribe and leave any comments. Your comments are very helpful and where you need more help. And uh, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when the new videos come up. And thanks for watching.